back here in the province of Ifugao again, still discovering the unseen places here. And today we're going on an adventure to the valleys of Unduan to walk right by the fields of its rice terraces and dive into the refreshing Bogia Springs. Jumping up here in the municipality of Lagawi, the town of Ungduan is located deep and hidden in the mountains of the region, passing through the towns of Hinyon, scaling the edges of the mountains to the town of Banawe, and circling through this huge mountain going further to the remote areas of the municipality of Ungduan. That's 43 kilometers to hours of drive. The landscape here in the province of Ifugao is huge, elevated, and panoramic. Hindi hindi talaga mawawala ang akyatan at zigzag. What's amazing in these kind of rides is that you get to enjoy the cold weather. Dahil very challenging naman talaga ang mag-ride kung mainit. Buti na lang malamig dito sa Cordillera. It has always been foggy here in the Cordillera region and it's just one of the things that you'll experience only in the Cordillera. our way to the top, the excitement is just gradually kicking in as we know that on the top awaits a panoramic and scenic views. Less than an hour from where we jumped off in Lagawi, we arrived here in the municipality of Banawe. I've always wanted to stop by in this area kasi may mga bilihan ng pasalubong, souvenirs, and others. This town, Banawe, is the top arsenal of Ipugao in the field of tourism. Arriving here in the central district of Banawe just feels like this is the capital town of Ifugao. But because many local and foreign visitors come by to visit regularly, this town is indeed blooming. So far from the center of Banawe, we turned into the entry road to the municipality of Hongduan. Halos nasa kalahati pa lang tayo sa biyaheng ito, pero let's keep going. I thought that by reaching Banawe is the end of the climbing of heights, but proceeding for Tungduan is just another long stretch of climbing. However, at the top, we saw this panoramic view of Ifugao Mountains topped with clouds, and it's just wonderfully beautiful. Arriving by the welcome arc of Fungduan even adds up the excitement because we know that we're close to our destination. We stopped by, took a bit of picture and move on. Curious, eh? Ah, 
Jadi ma'am, we hear information Oh ma'am Okay, thank you sir Whether local or foreign visitors, everyone is required to log at the tourism office for our safety and of course, for data monitoring on their part. From the registration area, we parked by the local road but we're not there yet. We started the walk going to the Boggy Spring and to the rice terraces of Hongduan. As we passed by these villages, I saw a few visitors who are from other countries. Halos mas marami nga ang mga foreigners kumpara sa mga lokal na pumupunta dito. The hike is more than a kilometer away, but I really love the wide and vast land of Hongduan. Unfortunately, the rice paddies here are not blooming because they might have just finished the harvest. How I wish I could experience the full bloom of the rice paddies also. That brings that distinct and scenic view of the Hongduan rice terraces. Nevertheless, the place is still beautiful. It's quiet. It's peaceful. It's vibrant in color. It's just stunningly beautiful. As we get closer to the springs, we hear the sound of the river flowing, inviting us to come. And it is very exciting. Arriving at Boggy Springs just took my fatigue away. It is breathtaking and it may be a long drive away, but it's absolutely worth it. Thank you. 